Here in Colorado, the rains continue to fall and the garden continues to grow. It's actually hard to keep up with all the we go. bounty we are there receiving. Cucumber. There's cucumbers and beets and beans and corn. Wow. It's pretty exciting. Fresh homegrown food is always really special. Other news around the farm is that I found a bunny on Craigslist that I'm hoping to go and pick up very soon. Corn. The corn is my sister's special pride and joy. It grew to be about 12 feet tall. It's impressive. In other news, it appears that our rooster is actually a hen. And now we need to get another rooster. Oh dear. That was quite a disappointment. Okay, very excited. I just heard back from the bunny people and I'm going to go pick up the bunny tomorrow. I have it all ready for the bunny here. It's going to have a little indoor pen. I had initially planned on getting two bunnies, but bunnies are very scarce around here. It was hard to even find one. I had to drive three hours there and then three hours back to get this darling little bunny whom I have named Maud. The cats are jealous of the bunny. They look in the door and see the bunny hopping around and they are sad. And the dog is jealous of the cats. So the animals are all jealous of each other. <laughs> wow, that's quite a hailstorm out there. These late summer days are so beautiful. I try to be outside as much as I can before the cold weather comes. I love the sunflower field. So beautiful. My mom gave me an evil skewer pan for my birthday. So I'm happy to make the little evil skewers I remember from my childhood. They are little Danish pancake balls. They're quite delicious. They're traditionally eaten with jam and powdered sugar. As those of you who watch regularly know, I debated getting a bunny because I also love to travel, but I am glad I decided to get her anyways. It has made a shift and I feel like I am claiming my own life again and making it what I want it to be. It really takes a long time to get settled in a place after you've moved. My grandmother always maintained it took about five years and I would say that's about right. And coming from the monastery back out to the regular world and to the place I grew up has been an added shift and transition. You goofy girl. <laughs> yeah? The dog goes through these loony phases where she's all hyper and weird. <laughs> My bunny is a perfect little alarm clock. She wakes me up every morning right about 6 a.m. <laughs> this is one of her most active times of day. She runs around so fast. It's so delightful.
A friend and I were out hiking when we discovered some ripe, prickly pear cactus fruits. I tried my first one and so did she. They were really good. They almost tasted like watermelon. Remember way back in the spring when I stuck that little spaghetti squash seed in the ground? Now these enormous vines are almost spreading out into the driveway. <laughs> they really grew well. My baby niece loves all the animals around the farm. It's so fun to watch her with them. She coos loudly over them and tries to reach out and pet them. Sometimes they let her and sometimes they don't. <laughs> It's September, but it still gets so hot during the day. I hope this heat wave passes soon. Even though I'm not happy to see summer go, I am tired of 90 degree weather. Watermelon can be hard to grow around here because of our short growing season, but I'm so pleased and proud to announce that we got our first watermelon and it's so good. Some friends and I went up to visit Telluride on the weekend. I got to ride the free gondola for the first time. It was a lot of fun. The views from it are beautiful. Actually, all the views there are beautiful. It's a beautiful place right in the heart of the mountains. We thought the colors might be changing up there, but not yet, except for a few leaves. The day after the Telluride trip, I was at Cascade Creek, enjoying the beauty of that area as well. The pumpkins seem to have grown overnight. All of a sudden, they're huge. It's so exciting. Thank you so much. That's so carrot, just your size. Good morning. <laughs> How do you feel about your rooster turning out to be a hen? Sad. <laughs> Still a cool chicken, but not as much fun as a rooster. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>